Hi, my gardening angels, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Jess, and today I'm going to be making my own succulent soil. So this is what I have left, um, a little bit dry. Uh, and I have a few, well, I have a lot of plants that need repotting, and so I need some more succulent soil. This is succulent soil from The Next Gardener, and I've been loving their succulent soil. I'll include a list, or a link, down to their succulent soil that you can purchase online from them down below. Um, I need a very large quantity of soil because I have several really large succulents that I need to be repotting, including this bad boy here. I'm very excited to repot him. This was my Valentine's Day gift. I went to the, what is it called? The Horticulture Supply Store, and this is what I purchased. I have a Pro Mix. This is a high porosity potting soil, which is kind of which, kind of the base of what you need. And then I'm going to be cutting it with um, this perlite. Now, before you work with perlite, you do want to wear a mask. And I had a mask, and I lost my mask. So, all right, so I have my mask. Before you work with perlite, you do want to um, have some sort of respiratory protection because there is just a lot of little particles that are not good for you. So make sure you're wearing a mask. When you're dealing with just like normal soil, you don't have to, like once it's mixed in and stuff, but um, just straight dry like this, it, it's probably best practice to wear a mask, honestly. So the ratio that I'm going to be using, it's very simple. This is just two ingredients. I'm going to be doing about six parts, seven to six parts of the Pro Mix high porosity soil, to about three to four parts the perlite. So it's gonna be a 30 to 40% ratio of this perlite. Uh, both of these are going to aid in the aeration. Uh, the high porosity is not going to hold on to water as it is for very long, uh, but it, this one does have a lot of really great stuff that the plants are going to love. And the perlite really doesn't aid the plant like nutritionally, but it does add into, it does add a lot of really great drainage that the plants are really going to like. So when you're making succulent soil, really that's the main key is you want to have as best draining soil as you can possibly achieve. So yeah, that is it. That is my two ingredient succulent soil. I'm really excited to use this. Um, soil is a little bit more wet already just out of the bag. And so if I was repotting or adding cuttings to this, I wanna make sure that I'm curing my cuttings out on like a table and letting the roots dry or like the cut part dry and callus before I'm adding it to this. But this is really great. I'll give you guys a close up so you can really see what it looks like. I will say I'm doing this in this big batch like this because I have an entire room full of succulents. Like that is, so this to me is cost effective. If you're a smaller collector of succulents and you don't have as many succulents in your collection, a bag of soil does last quite a while. And so I would definitely just rec recommend getting like the Next Gardener's succulent soil from their website. It'll save you a lot of money because both of these bags were um, I don't know, I think that one was like 30 and this one was 20 or something like that. But um, for, so for making like a really large batch of soil, it's great. But uh, if you don't need that much soil, like this is a lot of soil to have to store in your house. So um, I'll definitely, I definitely will put that link down below because that soil has always worked super great for me. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions about succulent soil or um, the process or growing succulents or whatever videos you guys would like to see, definitely leave them down in the comment section below and I will try to get to them. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.